What's up internet, this is Gaming in Action and welcome to my vanilla UHC tutorial. Whether you're hosting a tournament with some friends or just in the mood to play a fun single player challenge, here's everything that you need to know about Minecraft Ultra Hardcore. First, we will cover the basics. For those of you who don't know, Ultra Hardcore, or UHC, is a game mode where natural health regeneration is disabled and the only way to heal is to craft and eat golden apples. I assume you already have either a simple vanilla survival server where you are opt, meaning that you can run commands, or a single player world with cheats enabled. Once in game, set slash difficulty hard and slash game rule natural regeneration false. You'll find all commands in the video description by the way for copy pasting. Next up is time control. Optionally, you're going to want time frozen until the game has actually started. For this, you use slash game rule do daylight cycle false and then slash time set day to set the time to morning for when the game actually starts. If you plan to leave it on eternal day for the game, you can type slash time set 6000 to place the sun nicely in the middle of the sky. If you'd like to see the health of players in the tab list, we will have to add the scoreboard objective. This is done by typing slash scoreboard objectives add, then the name of the objective, then then health. And to make it appear in the tab menu, type slash scoreboard objectives set display, list, and then the name of the objective. This feature has been updated in the 1.8 snapshots to show hearts instead of the numeric value. What hasn't changed however is that you still need to set it up before players join or the hearts will not appear until their health changes. You can force it to update with some damage using the following command. Slash effect add a Minecraft instant damage 1 and then don't forget to heal them right back up, especially if you've already disabled the health regen. Type slash effect add a Minecraft instant health 2. Now for the fun stuff. Teams. By this point you should have all players connected and decided how many people are going to be on a team. To add a team, type slash scoreboard teams add blue where blue is the team name. It can be anything as long as you can remember it as you will have to reference it later. We will have to manually make our blue team actually blue though. Type slash scoreboard teams option blue or any other team name and then use the tab key to cycle through different options you can set for the team. For example when you select color hit space and then tab again to see all possible colors you can set. After you've created the number of teams you wanted it's time to add players to those teams. You can assign each player manually with slash scoreboard teams join blue then the names of the players you want on that team separated by a space. Or you can have the game assign players randomly by typing add r and then in brackets team equals comma c equals and then a number instead of the player names. This will add a number of random players specified by the c equals part to the indicated team. You're almost ready to start your game. What's left is to limit the players to a certain area using the world border. To create a static border type slash world border set 2000. This will create a playing field from negative 1000 to positive 1000 on each axis. You can shift the center with the world border center command but for most games the default 0 0 is fine. To have the wall shrink over a set amount of time we can use the exact same command with a time value in seconds at the end. For example if we now type slash world border set 400 3600 it will shrink the walls to a diameter of 400 over one hour. Only type this when you are ready to start the game. And finally we can use slash spread players 00, 200, 2000, true, add a to distribute our teams evenly on the map. Here 00 is the center of the map, 200 is the minimum distance that players can be from each other, 2000 is the diameter of a map that we said with the world border before, and true means to teleport players to the same spot as their teammates. And add 8 means to teleport all players. Quite a mouthful. So thank you very much for watching, happy UHCing, and this is Gaming in Action, and I'll see you in my next video.